to Today with Marilyn and Sarah. Oh, I'm so glad you're watching. And I want to thank all you wonderful partners. Oh, you are awesome. And the reason I can still travel all over the world is because I have partners. And then I would like for you to call for prayer about your needs. And Sarah, this is a wonderful day. It is. What do you think about our guest? We have a great guest, but don't you have a testimony here you want to share first? I do want to. Absolutely. And I'm glad you reminded me. This is Barbara. Barbara prayed for her granddaughter to find the Lord after struggling with mental health issues and drug addiction. She now goes to church and prayer meetings as often as possible, and she has been born again. I tell you, I know how the, that family must be jumping up and down. They're so thrilled. Mm -hmm. So, Sarah, tell us about our guest. Yeah, and, and just before I hop into the guest, I want to encourage you. If you're struggling, your kids are struggling with an addiction, mental illness, there's difficulties in your family, we would love to pray for you. So hop on the phone, get mm -hmm. on the website. Family is a big deal. Like, it's a really big deal to us. Our kids, our grandkids, our parents, our siblings are very important to us, and we want to pray for you and for your family. So hop on the phone, get on the website. And in just a few moments, we're going to be joining an interview where we met and had the wonderful privilege of interviewing Hannah Keeley. Now, Hannah Keeley has written a book called Mom Fog, and she is very qualified to write this book because she has seven children. Hmm, seven children, and they're all within the span of about 15 years apart. So this is kind of sequential and really quick. And she has some really powerful keys to encourage you, help you on being a good mom, or if you're watching your grandmother to help you with your grandchildren, this will be a really wonderful interview for you. Sarah Bowling, Living Genuine Love, is on a mission to connect every one with the heart of God. With a passion for the Bible and the gift of teaching, Sarah brings a new perspective to articulate God's life-giving revelation to our modern moment. God's heart relentlessly reaches all our hidden places and changes us from the inside out. And Living Genuine Love is equipping people with resources and tools that empower them to walk in this intimate relationship with God. Sarah is a powerful scholar and spirit-led teacher with a gift and passion that takes her many places around the world to bring lasting change to each of us who are craving the transformative love of God. At Living Genuine Love, we're committed to seeing you walk in a vibrant relationship with God every day. Learn more about Sarah Bowling and her ministry, Living Genuine Love, by visiting sarahbowling.org or call us at 800-627-1995. Thank you so much for joining today with Marilyn and Sarah. I have a fantastic guest. Oh my goodness, that you will love today. This is Hannah Keeley. Thank you so much. I am so excited I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. We're thrilled that you're with us. Hannah, not everybody in our audience knows kind of who you are, background. Can you share a little bit about who you are? And we'll jump into your book called yeah. Mom Fog. Mom Fog. Oh, I feel like I'm always living in a mom fog. <laughs> yeah, I'm Hannah Keeley. I'm America's number one mom coach. I've been coaching moms and studying the mom brain for the past two decades. Um, I have seven kids and honestly, I came about this whole thing because I had my own pit. Like I found myself in total overwhelm as a new mom and struggled, felt like I would get like one step forward, two steps back, realized I was just working in a way that wasn't working with the way I was designed as a mom, that the way that God designed my brain as a mom. And when I finally discovered this, that's when things really changed. And now I help moms work with the way they're programmed to work so and get real results. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And you might be watching right now. And if you're a mom or you're a grandmom, right? And you're like, man, I totally, I'm overwhelmed. I, can, I can't breathe. I'm drowning. We'd love to pray for you. So <laughs> hop on the phone, get on the website. And of course, grab your copy of Mom Fog. Uh, I've been wanting to do this program for you because I know that many of you watching, you have kids, grandkids, and it's absolutely, you're like just drowning. You feel mm. like you're circling in the drain all mm. the time. And I want you to watch this because I have a strong conviction that this program will help you mm. immensely because God, it doesn't design us to drown. No, no. And circle the drain. No, no. So what did that look like for you? Kind of like in that uh -huh, epiphany kind of moment. Wow. Well, it's funny because I wanted the epiphany. So here's what happened. Like, I will tell you exactly the day it happened is I was, I was drowning in debt. I was drowning in clutter. 
Um, we joke about we were so broke we couldn't pay attention. You know, I just had a few kids at the time, and and I and also I had this depression that was that was so deep in me and constant anxiety, and I just felt like no matter what, like this was not the life I knew God had designed me for. Right. I knew I was designed for something better. I'd known about God since I, I was a baby, and I knew He had designed me for something better. And here I was drowning in overwhelm. And this day. I walked into our bedroom and I caught a glimpse of myself in, in the mirror that we had there. And I was way too young to look how, how I was looking. Like I was just, had no life. I was just exhausted wearing my husband's shirts because you know how, you know, wearing really baggy things makes you all of a sudden look really slim. <laughs> yeah, not. But um, I was just like, this is my life. And I remember throwing the laundry down on the ground with an additional like five piles that were stacked up waiting to be folded, you know, that I said I was going <laughs> to get to sometime. And I just started bawling mm. and pleading with God, please do something. Send someone to get me in shape or pay off my debt or clean up my house or, or help me get out of this anxiety, this depression, just bawling. And here's the thing. Nobody came. Mm. And I was sitting there, it's the ugly cry, you know, where you don't know where the snot stops and the tears start and all that kind of stuff. And I remember I, I grabbed a sock, it was clean, it was my husband's sock, and I started wiping my face. And I heard the voice of God, you know, when you hear, you know it's God, as you hear that voice inside. in you. Inside you, right. Inside. And you can't mistake it. Nope. And I thought he was going to give like part the heavens like that epiphany and I would hear the chorus of angels and someone would walk in through my <laughs> front door and say, you won the lottery or something. And I heard the voice of God say, get up and fold your laundry. Hmm. I didn't want to hear that. I wanted to hear something that would, that would exempt me from doing this. So <laughs> that day I just realized my cleverness was getting me nowhere. So I was going to try to do things God's way. And starting that day, I just did the next thing. And I'm telling you for moms who feel overwhelmed, sometimes it's as simple as I'm just going to wash the dishes in the sink. That's it. That's all I can do right now. And that's enough. Mm -hmm. And so I did that and God started really working with me. And I started learning about how my brain was operating as a mom. And then I started getting real results. But that one moment really shifted everything and started the snowball effect in my life. Hmm. That's pretty cool. It was not at the time. I wanted no. a check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I wanted someone to come in and, and clean my house. I wanted, I wanted something that would make it easy. But I realized it was simple. I just had to follow God's direction. Mm -hmm. And if I if I have he had given me a way out, I would have never discovered a way through. Mm -hmm. And now I'm helping moms get through this. You know, I think. This is one of the most important books we have all, ever offered because I think being a mother <laughs> is something else. And Hannah, you speak to this out of real experience. Yes, How many children? I have seven and just three seven. grandkids. Yeah, just and seven. <laughs> and she has steps to overcoming the mom fatigue syndrome. And I think that's kind of a depression thing. Is, yeah. And when you get into the book, honey, you know, you know the truth and you get free. You need to be free. And you know mothers, I know mothers, grandmothers, great grandmothers now. And I know all of us want to do better. Mm. So I think all of you watching need this book. And maybe you need to get two or three of them. So call us and get this wonderful mom fog and you of course can call for prayer we don't counsel but we love to pray so take advantage of this opportunity folks i took advantage of opportunities for years and it works it works mm -hmm. so sarah i'm so glad we have her as our guest. me too me too and hannah what would you say to a mom who's who we want to do everything Right. We want to do a, a full time. You know, I want to have a C-level position in my job. I want to have the perfect kids. I want my house clean. <laughs> yeah. I want yeah. I want I want all of it. What would you say to those of us who have that mindset? Well, well, two things. Um, first of all, what what Marilyn said is all moms want to be better moms. And so I want to speak to that mom who you think I'm a I'm a bad mom. 
Mm. Understand that you would not believe that if you did not have the desire to really care for your children. That's, so that, that's just like evidence. That's so good. That you know you're already a good mom because you want to be better. And for that mom who wants everything, that can happen. I think sometimes we sabotage ourselves because we think if I succeed in my career, then that will mean I'm a bad mom. And all of a sudden we get, we have an idea that if God blesses me here, then he can't hear. But Jesus said, I, I came that you may have life in abundance to the full till it overflows. So can't he bless us in every area of our lives if we're aware that maybe the desire comes from him? I mean, think about the word desire. It means Demi's from and sire is father. It's, it, he put those desires because they're from him. And now if we delight ourselves in the Lord, he gives us the desires of our heart. So don't shortchange and don't disregard your desire. It could be maybe the abundance of God just wants to show up more in your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and how do you kind of grapple with some of those tensions? Because that's a daily little bit of a balance and mm -hmm. kind of <laughs> yeah. dance, right? Yeah. It's funny because I really don't s subscribe to balance. I, mm -hmm. I think sometimes when you're, when, if you're in balance, you're out of growth. And if you're in growth, you're out of balance. Hmm. Because a lot of times the, in that out of balance is not always bad. We have a tendency to think everything has to be like this even keel. But think about what growth is. Growth is not this. Growth is like this. You know, whenever you're coming through something, you go up and maybe crash a little bit and get a little bit further. And, and so we have to understand growth doesn't always include balance. And if we're striving for balance, then maybe we're not seeing all the opportunities in front of us to grow. Growth can be hard. Growth can feel very difficult, but everything that was succeeded in the Bible, look throughout the Bible, everything, they had to grow to get past their fear of staying in the same place. And I think moms are like that too. There's always going to be a challenge and we can either say, I'm not ready or it's too much, or we can say, because of God in me, I can do this. Mm -hmm. And you might be watching right now and you might be thinking, oh my goodness, <laughs> this is like blows my mind. I didn't realize, you know, and this idea of balance. And I think that's a very powerful thing for you to think about and to consider. And, and for those of you watching, you're like overwhelmed, you're in debt, you can't pay attention. <laughs> like Anna said earlier, we want to pray for you. We want to pray that God would help you, strengthen you, give you yeah. keys, give you insight, give you wisdom. Hop on the phone, get on the website. And of course, grab your copy of Mom Fog. And I love this book. I love it, number one, for the practicality. <laughs> number two, I like it for the wit and the humor. <laughs> because Anna <laughs> is super raw and too. honest, sure. and it will encourage <laughs> you. Are you or someone you know dealing with mom fatigue syndrome? Are you tired of being tired and desperately want something that will completely break you out of your mom funk? For your gift of $31 or more, we will send you Mom Fog by Hannah Keeley. Mom Fog is a step-by-step -step guide that will help you walk out of the wariness, discouragement, and stress you may be feeling, and into a life of high energy, good vibes, and incredible productivity. We will also send you Marilyn and Sarah's book and two CD teaching, Maximize Your Day God's Way, along with Marilyn's foundational booklet, Speak the Word. And for your gift of $65 or more, we will include our Psalm 23 fleece blanket. Covered with the seven names of God revealed in Psalm 23, this lovely blanket will bring you comfort and peace as you wrap yourself in it and meditate on the Word. Overcome depression and despair, reclaim your joy. Call or click today for this encouraging offer. In her latest book, Read It, Speak It, Do It, Marilyn gives you the blueprint she's used for reading the Bible, speaking its promises, and acting on what the Word says. What readers will get from the book as I start my day with a cup of coffee and promises from the Word. In this transformational book, Marilyn shares practical strategies for reading, studying, and meditating on the Bible, speaking scripture over your life, using the sword of truth, the Word, during spiritual warfare, and walking out the word in faith. And this really tells you how to be victorious in every area of your life. You will love the book. I want you to have it. Read it, speak it, do it. Claim victory over every area of your life. 
coming soon to wherever books are sold. Welcome back to Today with Marilyn and Sarah. And we have a special guest, and you love it, because this is about mothers. And fathers, you like it because you want your wife to be a good mother. That's yeah. for sure. So this is for everybody. I don't want to just think moms. I want to think family. And I know that's important to you. So you talk about motivation. You talk about the connection it has to vision. Could you tell us why vision is important in this process? Oh, vision is a big deal. It's such a big deal. Oh, Maryland. it's a big deal. It really is because I, I, I think we forget as moms, we get in the middle of the dishes and the meals and the kids and the toys and all of the appointments and we forget vision. And I can't tell you how many moms I talked with who were like, I just... I knew I had dreams at one time and it just went away. It wasn't the right time for it or I just forgot. And so here's the deal. We understand in the Bible that without a vision, we perish. And so if we are continuing without vision, what happens is we're pulling all of our information from our past and we're just rehearsing the same thing over and over. How many moms do you know are like, I feel like I'm living the same day over and over and over. <laughs> you know, I barely made it through today and I'll barely make it through tomorrow. And so when we're just rehearsing the past, we're going to stay there. And vision means I'm going to look forward and imagine what could happen in my life. If I really believe that God can do anything, and if I believe he's in me, and if I believe greater is he that's in me than in the world, then why can't he, in the middle of this crazy thing called motherhood, build a successful woman. And he can, he can create vision in the middle of homeschooling seven kids and taking care of the house and managing the money. I was also able to build a multi-million dollar business. How does that happen? It happens because you trust in the future version, the one that God has given you a vision for more than you have faith in the past version. Mm -hmm. You share that in your book because we need it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we so need it. Moms need that today. We need it. And you know, you might be watching right now and maybe you need vision in your life. You're like, man, <laughs> that whole Groundhog Day, I feel like I'm living that. Like it's just compete and repeat. But we want to pray for you that God would give you vision. So hop on the phone, get on the website because it's legitimately true. Without vision, we perish. Where are we going? We're just recycling and cycling. And so, mm. and of course, grab your copy of Mom Fog. Super helpful and very informative and practical, <laughs> extremely practical and wise. You know, Hannah, the other thing I want to ask you about, you talk about the mom brain. Yeah. I'm like, what <laughs> on earth is a mom brain? Is that well, like a malady? It's real. No, it, it can be. It can be. Um, but but it's very real. And we we joke about mom brain, like the fogginess, the I left my coffee on the hood of the car, <laughs> pulling out of Starbucks, you know, all this stuff. And, you know, left my kid in the car seat. And I'm going with the car. Where's my kid? Go back to the car. All these <laughs> things. We're like, what is wrong with me? Am I losing my mind? Mm. Actually, you did. Because what happens, they, they've done MRIs with women who have had children and the MRIs of their brain before they give birth to a child and after are very different. There is actually a loss of gray matter in their brain. Sweet. Oh. We have an excuse. Oh. We have oh. Oh, we so have great. an excuse. <laughs> Jesus. That's great. It's, but we think like, why would a God who loves me literally make me lose my mind <laughs> when I have a baby? And what happens is that God in his love and care for us has helped us develop. We immediately have this like new cognitive awareness as a mom. Like how many times have you thought, mm, something's just off with my kid today? Or you grab your kid right before they run out in, in front of the road. You just have this sense, this mom sense, you know? And that's actually a new awareness in your mind about you're opening up, up, up the filters to everything in your environment because now you're not just a woman, you're a mom who now is responsible for the livelihood of their children. And because of that, your brain has physical changes and we think, I can't pay attention. You can, we just have to learn how to work with the way our new mom brain is wired. You crack that code, you can do anything. Woof, 
woof, <laughs> hefty material, <laughs> but it works. Yeah. But does the enemy work in that space with the mom brain? Oh, sure. Because like, you know, you're like, how could I be so stupid? How could I be so slow? How could I be so lazy? How, you know, like all that stuff. I would think that that's open, open feeding ground for right. the enemy. How, what, yeah. what do you do with that? Well, what I just, one thing I would help moms with today is a lot of times we'll do something and say, wow, that was stupid, or I should be a better mom than that, or I'm so lazy. All the things we tell ourselves, that internal dialogue will become your life. Whatever you put the most belief in will become your life. So what I like to say is, can we just adopt another sentence? Instead of putting condemnation on us, because we know there's now no condemnation in, in Christ, could we say something like, how fascinating, how curious, that's interesting, and just become more aware of maybe our brain is doing something different, and maybe instead of condemning it, we can be fascinated by it and just take the next step. I mean, think about it. Are you really encouraged to like take care of your kids or clean up your house if you're feeling down in the dumps? No, but if we could just change that state, how fascinating that I did that. That's so interesting. And now we feel better about ourselves and now our state's so much better. We can do those things that will push us forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that we think people don't understand mm. because we adopted and that's a big deal. And then I got pregnant with Sarah, mm -hmm. didn't know I was pregnant. You know, wow. even the doctor didn't know. Wow. So that's quite a deal. So shocking things wake you up being a mother yeah. in different ways. Yeah. So I thank God he doesn't waste anything. Nothing. If you put it in his hands, he won't waste it. Yeah. He will help you, but he doesn't condemn you. He might convict you but he doesn't condemn you. Right. And I think your book, Mom Fog, really helps with that. So I encourage you to call us for prayer because if there's anything we're concerned about is children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. And I think there's always new things to learn. Do you think you know everything? I don't think I know everything. And I'm older than you, but I'm constantly learning and you will just love this. So we're thinking of gifts for people. This would be a wonderful gift. So I would get five or six of them and give them as gifts because you give people candy, you make them fat, you know, you do silly things, yeah. but if you could give them something that would encourage them, turn them around. Cause many of us, I'm saying that, it's condemning to us because of we think I'm not a good parent. I'm not a good grandparent. I didn't answer their questions well. You know, let's get hooked into what God has to say, and this will hook you in. Mm -hmm. And and I think, too, it, it, some of you watching, you really struggled with shame and condemnation. I mean, that's been your mental narrative for a very long time, and we would love to pray for you. Pray that God... Holy Spirit would interrupt that narrative and replace it with something more constructive and life-giving. So hop on the phone and get on the website. And uh, Hannah, just as we finish here for a quick moment, what would you say to a mom who feels like she has failed? I oh, mean, just wow. flat out, I failed. I messed up and now my kids are a train wreck because of yeah. my, it's my fault. Nothing is as real as that moment. But understand, moments are fleeting. Emotions are fleeting. You will get past this. You will get past this. Mm -hmm. There's always hope. There, You can be down in the dumps and say, why am I even here? My kids deserve a better mom. They would be better off without me. That is the enemy trying to keep you away from that life that he knows once you step into God's word, that's going to happen for you. Mm -hmm. And now your children are going to have a mom that they actually enjoy being with. That can happen. Don't let just the emotions of a moment define your life. It's so tempting though, mm -hmm. but the sun will come up. Mm -hmm. There is always hope and hope according to God's word oh. never disappoints. Mm -hmm. It never disappoints. Amen. Mm -hmm. We can't let our hormones control and dominate and, and, and be the, the narrative in our mind. So right. I just encourage you, there is hope. 
There's future. God has plans to give you life and vitality and, and hope and wisdom on being a mom, being a supernatural mom. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We would love to pray for you in this wonderful adventure of motherhood. And if you're a grandmother, of course, send this to your, your kid. It'll help you immensely today. Are you or someone you know dealing with mom fatigue syndrome? Are you tired of being tired and desperately want something that will completely break you out of your mom funk? For your gift of $31 or more, we will send you Mom Fog by Hannah Keeley. Mom Fog is a step-by-step -step guide that will help you walk out of the wariness, discouragement, and stress you may be feeling, and into a life of high energy, good vibes, and incredible productivity. We will also send you Marilyn and Sarah's book and two CD teaching, Maximize Your Day God's Way, along with Marilyn's foundational booklet, Speak the Word. And for your gift of $65 or more, we will include our Psalm 23 fleece blanket. Covered with the seven names of God revealed in Psalm 23, this lovely blanket will bring you comfort and peace as you wrap yourself in it and meditate on the word. Overcome depression and despair, reclaim your joy. Call or click today for this encouraging offer. We're so glad that you've watched this interview. Hannah, would you mind praying for our audience to really absorb everything God has for them? Absolutely. I'd love to. Father God, I just thank you right now for this person who is watching. Father, you have called them here. It's not coincidence that they are here watching and listening to this. Father God, I just ask you right now, by the blood of Jesus, be so real to them. Father, give them a vision right now of who you have created them to be, God, a warrior, a queen, Father, someone who rises above the circumstances of their life right now. Father, right now, plant in them hope because your hope never disappoints. God, if they're in a dark place, we pray light to penetrate into that darkness in the name of Jesus. If they're in a place of confusion, God, bring clarity. Father, meet them where they are in a way that only you can do with your love, your compassion, Father, your wisdom. Plant in them that desire to be more, to do more, to be more of you here in this world. We praise you. We thank you, God, that you are real to them right now, that you're giving them a revelation of who they are in Christ. Thank you, Father. We praise you for that. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now, I want you to say this with me. It's really, I'm sorry, it's really important. I want you to say today, is the best day of my life. Why? Because Jesus Christ lives big in me. God bless you. May you have a supernatural day, supernatural week. Let's go for big things. Amen? We are big people in Jesus today. Mm -hmm.